speaking of women, I just want to introduce one more person yeah. into this mix is Aoife, uh, yeah. the daughter of Dermot, who's promised in marriage to Strongbow. And many people who've ever got married in a civic ceremony will wonder why. There's a picture there of the, the, the marriage of Strongbow and Aoife, which takes place in the burning ruins of Waterford. Waterford. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's, it's, uh, many people get married and wonder why this picture is now. I certainly did. And uh, just, but it's often given as, as a pose, you're talking about histori- historiography. Yeah. Ireland is a female country that has been uh, Roisin Dove. Uh, Catherine Houlihan, that Eva yeah. is the or- origin figure of this idea. But you have a slightly different take on her as a character. Uh, you know, is she a victim in all this? Yeah. Does she appear later? Oh, it's very interesting, that question, right for the off. Uh, partly because I'm going out with Eva, my own one. But uh, the, um, she's a fascinating figure. And, the, and that is the question that the debate revolves around. Um, you know, how should we judge her? Is she a traitress? Or is she a victim? Or, or what is she? Now, my reading is that she is a very competent aristocratic uh, princess who is as much a part of the same uh, culture of trying to obtain power and fame for your dynasty as her father, as her brothers. She's not simply a pawn. And th- my evidence for this is that... So she's not given to Strongbow as a, as a simple uh, sort of cement for the, for the male's alliance... My evidence for this is the way that she prepares her daughter, Isabel, to defend uh, Strongbow's heritage after his death. She acquires language skills to be able to manoeuvre politically in England and Wales. Um, does she go to England and Wales? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she uh, revitalises garrisons and, uh, that are under threat in the, in the absence of Strongbow. Um, and she negotiates with the King of England. That's not a... Uh, you know, a, a sort of a bit of jewellery that's given to Strongbow. Yeah. That, that's someone who's got a political goal in her own right. And I think Dermot's family understood that the only way they were coming back to power was with the Normans. And one of the things I appreciated when I when I researched the book was that Strongbow always honoured his initial agreement with the McMurrays. So yeah. other Irish aristocrats were completely uh, exploited, expropriated, driven off their lands for Strongbow's followers. But ne- he never touched any of that family. And ultimately, uh, Donald Kavanagh's dynasty actually survived centuries on to, to be dominant in Leinster. 